Okay, class. So we are back. Uh, now we are in uh, number three here. Yeah? Okay, first I want you to download the file hacker3.cs. You can click here and then uh, try to save this file. Use this one. Download this file to your and any of your to your folder computer. So save it somewhere there. So I already saved inside my folder. And then when you when you already when you save it, okay, I don't want to save this. Uh, so we, when you save it, I want you to to open up your Unity. Okay, go ahead and uh, open your Unity. Okay, so in a Unity, this is my Unity here. So uh, I want you to find the the file that you just download uh, mine is this one and then you just take this file and drag it to this area here the asset so you should be able to see hacker tree there so I don't want to try this one again so I already done so this one is hacker tree so when you have uh, your file there hacker tree um, then uh, let me get this this one I don't use when you have your file hacker tree and then you, you open you make sure that you have the in terminal this is one. Uh, in this asset screen this one make sure that uh, there is no click here let's say if uh, let's say I uh, remove you make sure that there's no component no uh, script here just so the one I just download hacker tree, you just drag it to the here, yeah, make sure it's highlighted, and then release, and then you can check again, and it should be there. Make sure hacker tree script is attached to the inspector here, yeah, the screen. So now, and and then you can open up your file hacker tree, double click on it, and then it shows up in your. Um, Visual Studio. So in this uh, program, we uh, want to teach you uh, from this quite a little bit different from the last time. So we have we have a, uh, we have enumeration again. We have a, a, we initialize this current screen uh, equal to screen dot menu is the first menu, and we have another menu called password. So when the, when we first start the program like this one, right? So go back to here, and then usually it's a bad, usually it's, a, it's good if you can drag this inspector. You go to inspector, you drag this to debug mode, so you can see that the current screen is main menu. At the start of the program, like this one, the start program, uh, the current screen is equal to main menu. So this is we go through here. The program say okay, the current menu is equal to current is a main menu screen so when you uh, what's the program going to start and then in the start program you could have a function show main menu so first you got to clear the screen we have a garbage here the screen will get cleared and then when we press and then we go to show all this so so we have a clear screen we have all this written on the screen so let's go and start first so when i press start here play so we will show this clear the screen and then we will come up right this one come up so now in this state this is this is uh, the screen is main menu main menu right it's the main menu so and then if you look at this uh, program uh, the program is waiting for input at the moment what input you want to give so if you type input menu it will go back to show main menu on the top so then go back to show main menu if you type other than main menu then it will go to this screen provided the current screen if the current screen is equal to main menu they mean the screen here is main menu if you put in different than menu it will go down there and go to run main menu so I will start this one first. Uh, I will put the menu first. So if I type menu, 
it will go to go we're going to clear the screen and display this right go up we go up and then clear the screen and it's displayed here but if i type other than this let's say i type number one what happened it will go it will go to run main menu function this down down here and then if it go to one the devil is work start the game i mean go here start the another you know, function start the game set it's going to show here we're going, to, we're going to change the screen to become password screen. So here, uh, when we type one, it go to here all the way here, and the current screen is equal to password screen. So we, this current screen, we change to password. Okay. So let's see whether it changed or not. Keep look, keep looking at this one. Okay, so type one and enter. So we change to password see we change the password because we're already in this in this level so then we you have chosen level plus level which is level one press enter your password just for the whatever here so we go back we go back we go back and then waiting for the input we're waiting for the input here so what where are we we will you we, we go back to here but if you type anything here because the current screen is already become password so you never take this one. They all they all they all looping around waiting for you to type menu only. See? If I type one, nothing happened. Because the screen is it's a password screen. It's not main menu screen. So this program behave like that. So the only the only thing that the, the only thing that you are waiting for is menu. Menu we go back there up there, but still if you go, you type menu, you go back up here, then the screen still in password screen because the only way the screen become main menu screen again, only if you reset the game. So let's say I type menu, Oops. menu, oh, sorry, M E N E U, then menu you go back to here but it doesn't do it it cannot do anything because because if it, it's still in the password mode if you type one also it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't show anything because it does because it, the, the the we have a screen here looking for if only only the screen is main menu only then you can go down there otherwise you just keep on repeating here which is the only thing need to be that is menu only so this is the program uh, for showing how to uh, separate it the function by function one function one function doing only one thing and the function doing another thing for input so go ahead try it out on your code and try to understand this program and then uh, we're going to go for another hacker number four